Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. Welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at Vulture's Roost, created by Corella Creations, and this is the very last submission of the Master Builder bracket. So be sure to keep an eye on the community tabs of YouTube and uh, announcements in Discord. Here, Corella Creations says, "Hello, Johnny." Here's my entry into the contest, which was loosely inspired by the game Evil Genius and the soon to arrive sequel, where you build a lair as a diabolical super villain. Very fun. Professor Victoria Vulture is a world renowned scientist and celebrated preservationist of the King Vulture, a native species of the region which she's taken as a mascot for her corporation, Vulture, Vulturacon Industries. She has invited you to the beautiful Vultura Casino Resort, which is reachable only via private helicopter high in the Andes Mountains to experience the gambling, food, and fun in the sun. But rumors persist there is something more sinister going on inside the mountain, so venture inside if you dare. There is some theme maker toolkit and custom images, so please add them, which we have. We're out of the time to give you a more in-depth explanation. I had a newborn, so unfortunately I didn't have time to polish this the way I would have liked to, but I hope you and the viewers enjoy. Congratulations on the newborn baby. Congratulations. As always, thank you for keeping this community alive as well as these contests. It is much appreciated. You are very welcome, good sir. All right, awesome stuff. Let's get into Vulture's Roost. Here we are, we have arrived on our private helicopter. And we are at the casino. Well, we have been invited to explore and enjoy all the casino has to offer, but somewhere there is some inconspicuous evil things going on here. Shall we go find out? Shall we? We shall! <laughs> Gulpy gambling! Wow, this is cool. I like this. Gulpy gambling. The worst kind of gambling. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, never and, seen. I like a how casino. you. Yeah, I like how you did the theme maker. I'm um, without. I like how you did it without theme maker toolkit. It's all yeah. classic Planko builds. Super neat. Flashing lights. <laughs> oh, nice. And this is a uh, a bar with karaoke. Ba -ba -na -na, da -da -na -na. <laughs> ba -na -na, ba -na -na. It's the best song. I always pick that one. You're right. <laughs> song. Some blackjack tables. Now the song's perfect for the casino. Chief Beef. Yeah, I'll just be here for a while. Losing all me. your money. Mm-hmm. It's really, really nicely done. Ooh, even a restaurant? Yeah, you have to. I like the colors and the building. and It's really cool. And those uh, Ghostbuster pieces, the, uh, the white. Where do you think you're going? Ooh. Swimming pool. Oh, the music. Changes, yeah. Oh, relax. Hold on, let me get the music up a bit. Every park. Screaming people in the background. Every park has different amounts of volume and sound. And I turned it down a few episodes ago because it was chaotic. Sometimes we miss out on the ambience. Super chill. I like the coaster going right through the pool like that. My god, this makes me relaxed. It does. <laughs> <sighs> nice way to end off the uh, episode. bracket. Oh. The episode. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I know. <sighs> oh, wow. Look at that uh, when you look up. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Pink penguin. Pink no, look up. Penguin. What? Up? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. I thought we could go up there, but maybe I'm wrong. So 
I thought there was going to be a, a stairwell. Yeah. Oh, we have to use the elevator. Bing! Wow. What? What? Some elevator. No, no, it was just... Quick. There's an eagle up there. This, uh, like, villain, oh. villain vulture. And there's the, the logo. That's pretty cool. I'm quite Probably impressed. Probably vulture did. And the whole, um, building is also the logo. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty Super sick. Cool. Vulture Industries. I like it. I like the inspiration, the colors, the uh. the vibe. Definitely feels like it almost kind of gives me like this like Tony Stark kind of vibes or the opposite, you know, like is you know Tony Stark's like house or whatever. It's yeah. Kind of, he's like the super this is the villain version and it's of course it's a casino. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit cartoony as well. Yeah. In a way. Carrion Cafe. <laughs> oh, vultures. Nice. The rising vulture. Cool font. See, this is great use of the... Like I always North say, in -game. the in-game font Smart. things are kind of boring, but you dressed it up, and mm -hmm. it's perfect. Like, wouldn't have taken too long to create this little thing. No. Um, and it added so much, where the whole thing feels custom now. Oh, vulture eggs. It's a, a bird nest. <laughs> it's a cool ride skit. Yeah. And the way it's spinning them up like that. Oh, but look up on the... There's a nest as well. Hey, we were just talking about this ride. Um, yeah. A while ago. Let's go look at that. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> nice. The vulture's eggs. And the vulture's over there. Let's take yeah. a look at that. Cool. Using all the <laughs> temple pieces. Nice. It's really well done. Yeah, I like it. It's got the flow and the feathers. It's nice. Cool. I really like this. This is neat. So... There's got to be a downstairs, but we, we went out the right side, so I'm assuming there's somewhere... No? Hmm. Oh, so relaxed again. Oh, no, 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 back there. How, how did I miss that? Jeez. So distracted talking all the time. It's normal. You're looking around. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. It's a rocket? Sick. <laughs> Only nuke. villains can pass. Hmm. I'll wait here. Zal, you go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm driving the camera now, guys. Here we go. All right. Take a right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to go Hero. counter anti-clockwise? Uh, yes, please. Uh, Hero containment. One. Yeah. Oh no. I got Tony Stark. Oh, it's you. <laughs> it's you. I'm no hero. What happened there? Did you what? hear that? Someone just got uh, wrecked. <laughs> Repair bay. Warning. 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 Laser sharks. Sharks with freaking laser beams <laughs> attached to their heads. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what I would have said if the sign didn't say that. <laughs> right? Laser beam sharks. Yeah, you have to. No, I would have said sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Oh, you would have said it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's how I would have said it. Oh! oh. That's exciting. Nice. I think we've only seen two the entire contest. In one in Sci-Fi Land, and then the other one was. Um... Uh, I had one in the Builder Brackets. Ah, which I have not yeah. seen yet because yeah. oh. I have not seen them yet. Oh, still working on mine. Here we go. It is the Remotion Track Ride called the Layer Line. Let's look at all the stats. We're going to be on here for a few minutes. It's going to be uh, 
quite the experience. We're gonna find the one in the station. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? That's it. We're leaving. And I think we want to sit in the middle. Let's go! Sit here. Are you working on one? Me? What? Yeah, I said I'm working on one. No, no, no. I said I have not seen your videos yet because I'm still working on mine. Oh, like that. Like that. Ooh, the big rock. Hmm. Why are we looking out here? To scare you to death. I guess. This is kind of neat. It's like some, um... What's his name? Uh, Austin Powers or something? Mm. Reminds me of Villain Lair from that movie. <laughs> What's the Dutch guy's name? I have was no speaking idea. German. You know, it's not even Dutch. It's like the Gold. Oh, Gold. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You never remember, right? I deleted it from my memory. <laughs> it wasn't worth holding on to. No, it's amazing. <laughs> Comedy gold. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh. Uh. Uh, I mean, I don't think you always need to use parabolic screens and stuff for this, right? No. I... Ooh. That was well timed. Yeah. I, I think... Like, there's some pretty cool shots. There's been a few, but majority of the ride, I feel like we're looking at the wrong things. I, you know, there's so many things that be, you'll be going on in a villain's lair that I want to, I want to see more of the inner workings of this mastermind. Here we go. That's more of what I'm looking for. They're planning. Or the boardroom. The boardroom, yeah. Pretty boring. Kidding. <laughs> That's such joke. a bad joke. <laughs> such a bad joke. No wonder you didn't laugh. <laughs> no, it took a second to process. <laughs> this is so bad. My brain was like, wait. Did you just, just make that joke? <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone watching this. It's like co line there. And it's super fitting. Mm -hmm, the spinning up thoughts on their next <laughs> plan. <laughs> Johnny's on fire. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. I was being literal. <laughs> well, if you found it funny, that's about it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, so many rock shots. You can taste the texture. The rock. You're getting so close to it. You can lick the rock. <laughs> right? <laughs> so many rock shots. Okay. 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 Hi. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the meme. <laughs> okay. Okay. There it is. Yeah. yeah it was uh, a bit weird, in my opinion. But I understand maybe, you know, with the polish you were talking about, maybe that's where you... Mm -hmm, that's fair. Because you had a baby. Come on. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so, you know, so kind with, of with that said, priority. Well, yeah, uh, I feel maybe there was supposed to be something intentional out there. We were kind of showcasing the coaster, which is... It seems a little bit strange. Um, getting these shots of the coaster. It's like, look at the coaster. But what, what's, the, what's the mass... I, I, I feel like there should have been more... Focusing on things like contraptions, right? I guess the coaster is a contraption, but I like think shots like this would have been better um, More more of the technical stuff the computers I go I like the boardroom I Mean now that I can actually look around in here I would have definitely thought that more of these kind of shots just going all the way around it would have been great Like what's up here? Okay, that's the beginning of it. The queue. It's, it's really interesting down here. It's like a big laboratory of yeah. crazy stuff. And down here, nice shot of that would have been good. What's, uh, what's going on? I think it's just the, uh, yeah, looking at those rocks sort of broke. Mm hmm. 
uh, should have had it looking down there. Immersion a bit of the being in this layer. Yeah. But yeah, you're short on it time. Was, it was. I like. Yeah, I like the. Kind of, I like the idea. I like the concept. Yeah, the concept is fun. The layer is really good looking, and I guess that's where we just wanted to see more of it, right? Or maybe this. Yeah, here at the rocket, like, show us that they're building this rocket because they're gonna. I don't know. And maybe have a test sequence where it's like evil with it. Yeah. Vulture <clears throat> spinning up the brain. Uh, let's find this coaster. The layer line and cafeteria. Vulture, Vulture must be here. Yeah. Must be. No. Nope. Oh, the boardroom. Oh wait, this yeah. is the queue. <laughs> huh? He's got a little button to eject anyone that he doesn't like their ideas. <laughs> You're out. You should actually have put tubes here. Would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and have a, one of the animatronics that falls, but flip them upside down. Uh, Only in my brain does this stuff happen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like these clay walls. I mean, you definitely sold it with the the red, yellow. They like it feels like it's all been. I don't know. It's hard to quite put my finger on what I want to say, but it feels like a villain lair, and they're, yeah, they're building the something down here. Casino is white and blue and red and yellow, right? And then down here you're in a cave, and it's just black and red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Typhoon in 2,000 meters in length, oh. 164 seconds of duration, good G-forces, airtime counts are 4, 11 inversions. This sounds to be... One of the bigger exploration coaster experiences that we've seen throughout this contest. So I'm excited. Kick back, enjoy it. We're going on a villainous adventure on Vulture. Woo! <laughs> it's nice. got like the SpongeBob music. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, I like this. He's just this quirky bad guy. Oh, uh, we might have to go track the. Sorry. It's gonna be a long ride. I don't want the guy flailing the entire time. Uh. Meanwhile, he's just like this cheery guy. He had no evil intentions. <laughs> Only problem with track view is I can't hear the fun music anymore. See, the coaster's giving us a lot more of the perspectives that we were hoping from the uh, robotic arm ride. Yeah, for sure. This does... It's, oh, this uh, we haven't seen. Yeah, the Vulcan, Vulcan drill. Oh, they're gonna drill to this core of the Earth? And blow everything up. That can't go wrong. Nope. With that said, yeah, the, the coaster does what the um, robotic was we were was supposed to do. And I um, launch sequence. I like it. This definitely makes up for it. This yeah. is cool. Moving up the rocket. Got to see the inner workings. Awesome. Really awesome stuff. It's a coaster that tells a story and has intentions. I like it. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Perfect. Fulfilled all of my desires that I could want from a villain coaster. Good. That's awesome. Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, that, that was... Nice triggers, nice smooth track. Yeah. Full layout. It, it uh, had some of the 
most fun storytelling theming from all the creations I've seen. You know, it, it really felt like we were going on Balkan's adventure story. I like it. Yeah. Told this, the story of a villain, satisfying um, villain base. It's cool. Villain's needs. Fulfilled everything. And the theming's great. Like the idea that Vulcan is the vulture, vulture corporation. The, the casino shaped like a V, having the the flat ride in an eagle's nest, the peak of the drop of the, the coasters right there on an eagle top mountain. It's so creative. It's really yeah, cool. It's all there. Yeah. It's all there. Mm hmm. Like theming wise. Yeah. yeah and, and honestly, like, if we just, I, we weren't too happy with the motion track ride, but you were only required to make one main attraction. Mm hmm. So I think this more than made up for it. It was a great coaster yeah. experience, one of the longer coasters in the contest, and super well themed and integrated, and great visuals, amazing layout, super smooth, super, uh, super satisfied with this. Or can we see it at night? Can we see it at night? I mean, the cave is gonna look the same, but the casino. Oh, actually, didn't the carpet's almost like volcano lava? Actually, uh, Corella said. Uh, it's worth doing at least one a day and one at night, so I don't know if you want to ride the coaster another time. Absolutely I do. Let's find one that's pulling into the station. What, are we going to do seat view again or just track view? Or, sorry, track oh. view or something else. Uh, maybe we could do the pop-up and uh, yeah. see at the back. There's only sure. two cars on this train. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be something different. Let's go. Sit back and enjoy the night ride. Oh, there's an eagle there. Yeah. Or a vulture. Sure. I like that with the panels. The hey, right. yeah, that's something you didn't see at daytime. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. Huh. The song's yeah, kind of funny because, cool. like... I could see him just dancing in his boardroom, like, wheeling around on his chair, like, pushing his feet off the table and sliding around on his chair, just doing a little uh, shimmy dance, like, da -de 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 -de. and he's like, today I'm gonna blow up the world, da -de 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 -de. you know, he's like, just like crazy, he's like happy, but like, completely insane. <laughs> Hopefully that painted the picture for you. <laughs> I like this drill, Falcon drill. And if you slow down the coaster just so we can understand what it is, right? Yeah, and not yeah, just really fly by it like 50 miles an hour. Mm hmm. Oh, this is perfect. This is a really fun creation. And like, it's kind of strange because this coast, it, like, this it feels like a storytelling coaster contest submission or something, you know? It's it's hitting all, quite a lot of different elements, but that is also the signs of a good creation because it's really well themed. It tells a story. It's oh, It nice. put, puts us into um, the mind of the villain and yeah. uh, really gives us a cool perspective of what you were thinking when you created this. It's a really a lot of fun. Great. I love it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say while we were moving around. Just, uh, pull up um, the right list just in case. You and, know. and if there's uh, anything you want to add, okay, Vulture the Lair, Mindbender, and Rising Vulture. I think we got it all. That's the Psychola. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Any final thoughts, Alexor? No, I just really like what you did here. And the video game is super fun. If anyone hasn't played it yet, it's super fun. This what this is based on. What's the game again? Uh, uh, the, uh, Evil Genius? Uh, uh, Evil Genius, yeah. Um, and yeah, it super matches the series as well with the colors. And the the, the, the villain is a bit silly. And you I know, like and that, it, though. It's playful. Yeah, yeah. 
and it you know you you made it work here and i love the uh, like artistry with the building you made the giant v you really made the theme like everywhere pop out and stand out and mm -hmm. everyone knows what it is and what you're talking about and why it's there and the vulture with the eagle or the vulture nest that you said eagle and i said e say eagle look yeah <laughs> you're right you're right i did didn't i <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i like the terraforming it's my dyslexic tendencies sorry <laughs> uh yeah just loves the terraforming what you did to the, the, the layer depth and the, the mountain really yeah, neat right uh if i were to make one suggestion that i would have really loved to see that would have just completed this for me the whole backstory talked about um a lady what was her name um professor victoria Volchura, and then there's also the preservationalist uh king vulture um then there's a mascot. You talked about a mascot. So I, I think you have the mascot here, but what I would have liked to see was Victoria herself. M maybe I missed it. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But maybe um, if she had a headquarters somewhere, uh, we saw kind of her boardroom. If there was some way to create it in Photoshop, um, a lady that we speak of, have pictures of her around the, the casino. Kind of like, you know, think about like Handsome Jack and... Mm and the, from the borderlands universe he's everywhere like he wants uh, everyone to know who he is because he's so um what's the word for it when you're into yourself um uh, m m m m starts with an m not a masochist but uh no no anyways it's so so self-involved and you know so self-centered and he wants everyone to know who he is and i kind of wish that we saw that here with victoria we see her looking all lovely and you know uh, magnificent in all these oh, photos right. just right. what what <laughs> what masochist a person who derives sexual gratification from their own pain or humiliation <laughs> What's the word then? It's uh, it's not masochistic. <laughs> well, you said it. I just agreed with you. Well, maybe she is a bit masochistic, maybe. right? It's uh, uh, maybe she's got a little love dungeon down there. Like Handsome Jack has a bit of a messiah complex, and uh, what is it called? Uh, I don't know. Narcissistic. Narcissistic. <laughs> masochistic. Almost. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Egotistical narcissist, self-absorbed, self-centered, um, Victoria, you know, that would have been great. I mean, maybe she's got a little masochistic side to her somewhere down there, but, you know, we'll keep that one on the DL. Um, but uh, you seen, see, imagine, but you see what I'm saying? Like seeing pictures of her all around the hotel and mm -hmm. stuff and like really build up that image. You never get to meet her. You never get to see her, but you see pictures of her and she's, you know, um, and I think that would have been just like the cherry on top for me. Just to give my kind of uh, thoughts where you, know, where you can push something a little bit further. I, I, I don't know if that's a bad suggestion or not, but, um, you know, I just I guess I'm taking a little page out of Borderlands there with Handsome Jack. It's kind of fun to know who your villain is because you spoke of Victoria and I got curious. I was like, I want to meet this Victoria lady or know more about her. And we got to see everything that she has done, but we never really got to know what she looks like. So maybe you can come back for a part two one day and we get to know more about Victoria. Fun creation though. It's got me wanting more. It got me immersed in the world and um, that's amazing. So really well done. You themed it really well. It's cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's all there. A great, yeah. great, great way to close off the Master Builder Bracket from Corella Creations here today. Absolutely amazing stuff. What did you guys think of Vulture's Roost? Leave your comments down below. And that is going to do it for us in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you have a great day. And we will see you in the Legend Bracket. Bye now. Bye now.